I'm Seth Wallace and I'm a senior motion designer at Born Social. I recently became a senior motion designer maybe like a month or two ago, so I'm kind of still just sort of fitting into the role and sort of finding my place within the team and helping out the juniors and mid-rates and just sort of seeing how things go. I'm enjoying it and yeah, I feel like if you enjoy work, it's not really working it. It's just kind of something that you can just sort of wake up and do. To me, one of the biggest things is like you heard the saying, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And most people just know that half of the saying, but there's a second part, which is a jack of all trades, a master of none, but still better than a master of one. Yeah, and to me, that kind of encapsulates motion design. And what I mean by that is motion design is like the headline or, you know, the, the front cover of a book. And in between that, you have your chapters and your subheadings, you know, and, and motion design isn't just 2D animation, it's character animation, it's 3D, maybe a little bit of video editing, there's some sound design in there. You might have to jump onto a green screen set, you might have to pick up a camera, shoot some TikToks and then add overlays and subtitles and stuff. It's like you're able to kind of do everything, you know, you're not like just a bricklayer, you're a bricklayer, a scaffolder, and the project manager, you know, which I really enjoy. It, it kind of opens up your um, sort of day-to-day -day working life to just more than one thing. It's always like quite daunting leaving uni in a sort of a safe environment to just going to a new agency or people you don't know and the culture's different from the last agency you're at compared to uni. And I think some of the best advice that I got was just be yourself and people love you for who you are and that's why they've hired you, you know. There's a few people in, in, that I kept in, in contact with from Ravensbourne. They're all doing really well. That's kind of like inspiring, you know. They're like your, your classmates, but everyone's at like different levels and gone through different things. And it's just sort of impressive to see the growth within people, you know. It's like, you know, hats off to them, really. I learned quite a lot just being at Ravensbourne, not just After Effects and Cinema 4D, but, you know, people skills and, and presenting skills and stuff, you know. And uh, I find it quite a lot, people come up to me and they say, oh, you're super confident. And it's like, confidence is kind of like learnt a little bit. And I definitely learnt that at, at Ravensbourne. You know, we had to present our ideas to sometimes a hundred people, the graphic design, the advertising course and the motion course, you know. That sort of fear of rejection or like not nailing the brief and stuff like that. And I think the sooner you kind of like get over that as a creative, the easier it becomes, you know. And I think it's such an important thing to learn to just sort of show your work, because if you never show your work, it's never going to improve and you're never going to improve and you're never going to learn.